From Connecticut's newsroom, now Fox Connecticut Morning News. Here we go. Get ready. Take a look at this on efile.com. There's a running countdown to when your taxes are due. It's hard to see, but they've got five days, about 14 hours and counting for procrastinators to sit down and file or hire somebody to take care of it. I'm counting seven days. If you count today and Tuesday as a full day, you've really got seven. But nevertheless, tax day 2012 is fast approaching. And here in Connecticut, it is Tuesday, April 17th. You got till midnight on Tuesday. So if you don't want to spend your entire weekend trying to figure it all out. We've got Paul Lupo is here with this uh, with some uh, tips for us. He is with uh, Lupo and Associates. So Paul, good to see you. Thanks so much for coming on the program. You're good having morning. a busy week. We appreciate you taking some time out. What what should people know about when they're filing their taxes? What if somebody has never filed their taxes before and they're pretty nervous about it? Well, if you never filed your taxes before, I would definitely suggest hiring a professional. Okay because there are so many different variables involved to try to learn the tax codes overnight would basically be impossible. Yeah, and you don't know which form you're supposed to do and how you should file, right? I mean, there's all kinds Correct. of questions and things. Yes. What are some of the, the problems you see that occur more and more often when, when, with filers? Um, one of the biggest things I see is that they take the wrong number of exemptions. For example, they had a child that graduated college and person's working full-time so they'll take their um, they'll take the child as a dependent and really the child's already taken themselves as one so okay. that'll always trigger a uh, problem there uh, talk about um, you've got to choose whether you're uh, had a household or you know there's all these different choices married filing filing you know jointly talk about those and, and what you need to do with respect to that well you don't really get to choose it kind of chooses yourself okay. I mean if you're single it's obvious you can't say I'm gonna claim fluffy my cat as a dependent so I can be head of household right so it's pretty much you know if you're married you have to file joint with very few exceptions head of household be a single parent that's claiming the child and otherwise for the rest of the people who are single you're filing single there's an easy form that is supposed to be easy and then there's kind of more of a complicated one where if you really want to take a lot of uh, deductions and things how would you decide which one of those is best usually easy filers just have their w-2 so they've worked for one or two employers for the year and that would qualify them for it um, once you start owning a house, you have other deductions, mm -hmm. then you want to file the 1040, which is the regular form. If you have a job where maybe you have to spend some of your own money in order to get business, then all of a sudden you're in a situation where maybe you can start writing some things off. Correct, yes. You know. um, there's unreimbursed business expenses that you can write off on your return as well. I know you were telling me earlier, you know, make sure you sign the form. Make sure you write the correct address on the envelope if you're not doing, doing it electronically. I mean, these little things can really cause some problems. A absolutely. Absolutely. And I've had or I've heard of people that actually switched the checks. They sent their state check to the federal government and federal government to the state. And mm -hmm. They're paying the wrong dollar amounts and they end up having penalties for underpayments. Maybe they put the wrong checking account. They miss it by a number or, or two. And so they're expecting to get their uh, their um, their refund and, it, and it's they don't get it because they put the wrong checking account on there. That's correct. And, you know, it'll be sitting in limbo and people can always go to the IRS website. Uh, www.irs.gov and click on where's my refund yeah. and it would actually help them find where it you know, is. I remember years ago where as a news organization we'd go to downtown Hartford by the uh, postal service there and we'd watch everybody kind of scramble in right before midnight to get the envelope in the mail but now with electronic filing it's so much easier. Absolutely and the post offices aren't as many open as they used to be. I think mm -hmm. the only one around is the Hartford one that'll be open late on Tuesday. So would you suggest file electronically if, if you have a computer and you can do that? Absolutely. It's yeah. actually it alleviates it's a lot of math errors and other problems that people would not necessarily realize if they're doing it by by hand. They've all got all kinds of programs too that can help you if you have an easy form or something easy. I mean, if it's more complicated, you should definitely probably talk to a professional. Absolutely. You can also use a credit card, I think, electronically to pay what you owe, right? That is correct. Uh, yeah. You can go on and give them the, your credit card information and it'll pay. There's, I do believe it's a 2% surcharge for it. Okay. Uh, but you can also have direct withdrawal out of your checking or savings account and use a debit card. 
Any rules that have changed lately that could really affect a lot of people out there that they should know about? Um, nothing of over any great um, change, but what I would recommend for people to actually do is if you're not able to pay your for whatever you owe or file the return or at least file an extension and make a payment with it um, because that'll just alleviate underpayment penalties and other uh -huh. issues. Just send something in? If you owe money, definitely send something in and definitely send the return in on time. <laughs> Okay. All right. Paul Lupo, Lupo Associates. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. All right. So.